we are going to use the square root property in order to solve the following equations y squared equals 36 and u squared equals negative 4. Now, as a reminder the square root property says that if x squared is equal to a then x is equal to radical a or negative radical a. So take the square root and it could be either a positive or a negative. So in the first case with y squared equals 36 the square root property would say y could be equal to the square root of 36 or the negative of the square root of 36. Now fortunately 36 is a simple number to take a square root of right? because the square root is the number which multiplies together to create that said number. So notice that since 6 times 6 is 36, this means that y has to be equal to 6, the square root of 36, or 6 with a negative sign out in front. So the answer could be either 6 or negative 6. In the second case, let's look at u squared equals negative 4. This would imply that u could either be the square root of negative 4, or possibly the opposite of the square root of negative 4. Okay, and what does it mean to be, or what is the square root of negative 4? Well, notice that in the real numbers anyway, the square root of negative 4 is certainly not 2, because 2 times 2 is not negative 4, it's positive 4. And interestingly, it's also not negative 2, because negative 2 times negative 2 is equal to positive 4. In fact, in the real numbers, you can't take any numbers and multiply them by themselves and get any type of negative answer. So there is no solution to this particular problem, and so we say that there is no solution. So in summary, when you have a positive number, you will generally get two solutions to this particular type of problem. But when you have u squared equals a negative number, you will always have no solution among the real numbers.